guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Katie and I'm here at Dollar Tree um, I'm at a different Dollar Tree than I went to last week in last week's video um, we have like three or four right around the area that I live in so I wanted to check this one and see if they had anything different than the one I went to last week so come along with me let's go inside we're gonna walk around and see what they have So right off the bat, I saw this new section that has all of this super cute bee-themed um, spring items. And a lot of it also has the little gnomes, which I think are super cute. But they had garden flags. They had little hanging metal signs. I absolutely love this bumblebee bucket. How cute is that? I was thinking like for a spring baby shower or something like that would be adorable. They also had um, bumblebee ribbon that you can make something out of. And look at how cute these little gnomes are like I'm obsessed that's so cute they also had some stepping stones for gardens and then they had a huge selection of seeds they had flowers and also veggies um, so if you're planning on gardening I've never used seeds from the Dollar Tree um, if you have leave a comment let us know they also had these cute little like mini pot plant sets that I thought would be fun to do with the kids Next, they did have a huge selection of the fairy garden figures and sets. I know that these are extremely popular and they had so many fun options. Um, lots of things like little mushroom chairs and the fairies. They had some pretty garden rocks that you could add to your fairy garden. But look at how pretty the little houses are. These are so nice. I love all the colors. This one looks like a teapot. Like these are so adorable. It really makes me want to get some of these and do my own fairy garden. Let me know in the comments if you've done one. Um, and also look at these gnomes with the spring colors. Y'all know I'm a sucker for gnomes. Such cute items for any little fairy garden that you want to do look at this frog I mean really um, next I went over into like the Valentine's gift section and they had a lot of fun items these are like those popular headbands that people wear when they do their skincare or their makeup they had some lip gloss sets that would be really fun for like maybe teen girls um, some of this stuff I did see in my last trip to Dollar Tree so I'm not really showing things that I hadn't seen yet but they did have a wide variety like all of these makeup remover pads and sponges that are just so cute especially um, they're all heart shaped for Valentine's Day now this I had not seen before either but I loved this these are like little clip um, picture frames you can put a picture of your dog or you and your dog but how cute are these I just think that these are adorable and I really like those they had these gold candle holders, um, which were really nice quality, and they were all different sizes, which was pretty cool. This was something fun for Valentine's Day, Day that I did not see last week, but it's like a spin the wheel thing that would be fun for you and your partner to do together. And these are really cute also. These were also giving me baby shower vibes or baby nursery vibes for like decor or whatever. These are like little banks. You could do one for date night. Um, I thought those were really cute. These are wooden dice um, that are also cute for Valentine's Day. Different ideas that couples can do together. Roll the dice, see where it lands. Cute little idea. Now these are really pretty. These are glass containers, very high quality glass. And they just look super fancy and expensive. They have the clear, the pink, and the green. And I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. Not sure what I would use them for, but I loved them. They also had the little heart containers that have been really popular this year in all different colors and those are really pretty as well I haven't seen these before either but they're like little ball decor you could put on a shelf and the writing reminds me of Ray Dunn so I thought that was really cute these I also had not seen but it's a little jar that has 52 different date night ideas in it which I thought was a really cute idea because sometimes you know you need different ideas of new things to do and look at all of these little beauty sponges that come in this little heart oh so many cute and affordable options especially for like gift stuff they had different makeup brushes also if you do like a little um goodie basket or anything for your kids for valentine's day for your 
your like if you're doing like a galentine's with one of your girlfriends or whatever like they have so many good ideas here look at this this is a pumice stone for your feet how cute and then they also had um these heart nail files which i also thought were adorable like i said lots of fun options here and this was also a new product I hadn't seen before. This is like um, some facial rose cleanser, but it had like the roses in the bottle. And I thought that that was so pretty. I was really happy to see Valentine's Day cards because the other Dollar Tree I went to last week did not have them out yet. But I always get Valentine's Day cards for my kids and my husband here at Dollar Tree. Um, some of them are $1. The ones on the other side were um, 2 for a dollar. So it's such, so affordable, such a good deal. Any occasion that I need a card, I always get them at Dollar Tree because it is the best price. Now this is a new DIY farmhouse craft section. The cutest thing ever were these metal or like tin pigs, like pink and white and they're like galvanized. They were so stinking cute. They had wooden beads. These are kind of went viral, <laughs> the little rooster chickens, whatever. They have white ones and then black ones and they're just so cute. These are also very cute. They're like little mini lanterns that light up. I thought those were pretty white and black options. And they had these jars, which I saw last week, but I had not seen the white one. I only saw the black one. Here's the black little rooster. Like, he's just adorable. So cute. They also had these, which were glass. I guess you could put a candle in there, but I thought that that was just really pretty looking. And then they also had these little glass lanterns. You could put a tea light or a battery-operated one in. And then they also had all of these different wood hanging signs. So you could paint these. You could... I don't know if you're crafty there's so many different things that you can do with these but i just thought that think that the quality is really nice for this stuff if you are crafty like the possibilities are endless but they had so many different options and it's all kind of farmhousey you know that very trendy stuff and it's just super cute now i've never seen these before but they're ceramic stickers that go on like a mug and they had all different ones they had some that would be perfect for father's day and then they had some that were kind of girly or whatever but these are so cute that would be a fun little gift to do get a mug from the dollar tree decorated with these stickers they also had some iron on that you could do for like t-shirts and stuff which i just think is a really cool diy option I always like to look at the book section at Dollar Tree because sometimes they have really good stuff. Look at this book. It's the multi-cooker baby food recipe book. So if you have a baby or this would be a great gift to take to a baby shower, but it's like seriously so many recipes that you can make with like a pressure cooker, which I think is really cool. I know a lot of people like to make their own baby food. Um, they also have these like easy to read um, books. They had Daniel Tiger and they also had PJ Mask. So super popular cartoons that kids love. But these are great books for kids just starting out reading. And I love that they have them here at the Dollar Tree. And then I did want to show you one other book that I saw was a hardcover um, Disney. Oh, here was a Disney princess one that I thought was really cute. But this is a hardcover Disney Wrinkle in Time. It's like a behind the scenes um, making of this. But this is a really nice quality book. And if you took the cover off of this, this would make a great book to use like for decor on your coffee table or a bookshelf or something. Really cool. And they also have lots of cookbook like recipe books, even a keto one. So definitely check out the book section next time you go to Dollar Tree. Now this little chalkboard sign would be perfect for a guest room, like that is so cute. This one would be great for taking pictures of your kids on their birthdays or as they grow. Again, some of these signs you can definitely customize and paint or use a Cricut machine. I also really liked the look of these ones to hang like maybe on your front porch or whatever. They're just really nice quality. Oh, they actually did have a hanging sign that says porch. That would be really cute to put on the porch. I love that how it has the little greenery that's cute for a garage maybe get that save it for father's day okay y'all moving on they did have a bunch of the olika hand sanitizers now i have been loving my olika hand sanitizers that i've been using from my last trip so i did pick up another one because they had some different scents that i hadn't seen 
And then look at this. This is Crayola toothpaste. I have never seen this before, but it's like fun, different scents that I think kids would be into. And then they also had a bunch of these toothbrushes that come with like a little cup to rinse your mouth out. These are really great quality and would be perfect items to throw in your kids' Easter baskets. Speaking of Easter baskets, look at these adorable little lip glosses. These are so fun and I definitely picked up a few to put into my girls Easter baskets because I just love these. They are perfect for girls, teenagers, even adults if you're into that. But they have lots of different options and they are just all so super fun. Let's head over to the makeup aisle. These are really great brand name chapstick. They're tinted, which is really nice. This is a dupe of the Olay Age Defy eye roller. So that is really awesome. I'm actually gonna grab that and try it out. Here's another name brand item. This is Blistec. This stuff is great for winter if you get really dry and cracked lips. This is a really pretty line. I've never seen these before. Vitamin C eye serum and it had um, a face serum. These are just, these look really nice. I've never tried these. Um, these are just Dollar Tree brands, but they look really, really nice. Then they also had the Dove, the little tubs of the Dove cream, which is great for your hands. They also had a men's one, but those are great for winter. This would be another fun Easter basket um, option for girls, a whole little nail set. I think that that is so cute. And then these are really awesome. These are to hold your fingernail polish bottle while you do your own nails, which is really handy. They had a bunch of cute nail file options, which are always great. And then they have one of those like foot, um, what do you call it, exfoliator things. I l actually love those and they work really well. These are really great hand soap options. These ones right here retail for $12.94 each at Walmart. So that is really awesome. And then these ones I also looked up and they're over $10 as well at Walmart. So those are really high quality, very nice hand soap options. So where's my pregnant mamas at? Or if you have a baby shower coming up or you know any pregnant mamas, they have some um, items that are really awesome. They have a belly mask sheet, they have nipple balm, then they have belly balm. These are really, really awesome. You know that belly gets scratchy and itchy during pregnancy. This is another high value item. This is the Dapple brand, and this is to clean breast pumps and accessories, which is amazing, because y'all mamas know you'll have to be cleaning those all the time, and that will make it a little easier. This is a really good option if you have infants or toddlers or to take to a baby shower, but these are little toothbrushes that are easy for little ones to hold themselves. This is also a name brand item and these are amazing. I loved these when my kids were little, but these are to clip their passy to their shirt so that you don't lose those passies. Here's something for all you dog moms. They had some really cute Hershey brand um, dog toys. They had the Reese cup and the Hershey bar and I just think that those are super cute. And then they had a whole wall of other dog toys. And if your dogs go through dog toys like crazy, there is no point in buying expensive dog toys from PetSmart or Petco or wherever. Come to the Dollar Tree. They have great options. This is also super handy. It's like a little flashlight, but also like the poop bag holder. That is so handy if you're taking your dog out on walks in the evenings or whatever. They also have the poop bag refills for $1.25, makes it a great deal. Always check the Dollar Tree sock aisle because sometimes they have really random but fun socks. This is Nickelodeon Hey Arnold. They had a couple different designs of those, but it comes with two in a pack, which is pretty good. Um, then they had like some kind of weird Frankenstein ones, but I don't know. I know a lot of people like quirky socks, so definitely check out your sock aisle. If you have a little girl, they had tons of these Jojo Siwa socks. This was such a good deal because there comes with five socks for $1.25. Like that is an amazing, amazing deal. Such a good find. And then they did have a few other ones. They had this cute Minnie Mouse one. Of course, it only comes with one sock, but if you like Minnie Mouse, they also had this cute Barbie logo one. We know Barbie is real popular ever since the movie came out. And then they did have a SpongeBob one. I know a lot of people love SpongeBob. So like I said, definitely check out that sock aisle. 
Okay, y'all, these are going viral all over the internet, but these are the Dollar Tree Caboodle dupes. This is totally 90s vibes. Let me know in the comments if you had one of these when you were a little girl. These are so cute. They're sparkly. They have three different colors, the purple, the blue, and the pink, but these are adorable. You can keep your hair accessories, your makeup, whatever in there. Love it. They also had this cute little spa set that looked like a latte cup and it was, I couldn't get it open, but it was full of different goodies and stuff like that. And then they had these cute little zippered pouches, which I've also seen all over the internet. People are really obsessed with those. They had this, this was kind of random, I thought in a random spot, but this was really pretty. It was like a beaded um, garland tassel thing that said thankful that you could use in your decor. I love that sky blue color. And then this is like a dupe of the ones that they sell at Target, the bath bombs, which I thought was neat. And then they had this whole line of watermelon stuff. They had body wash, they had body butter, they had body scrub, they had a foot scrub, like everything. And the packaging on this, you guys, is so adorable. I love it. I love the hot pink with the watermelons. But yeah, you could get the entire line of this if you wanted to try it out. They had so many different products to try and just really, really cute items. Here's some more of those hanging signs. The porch one that we saw before also loved the welcome to our home sign. They had a couple of springy bee themed ones. Um, and then this one that you could fill in like a chalkboard. But yeah, these are all super cute. I love those. In the baking section, I did find two of the little sprinkle kits that are really popular right now. This one is Barbie themed, which every little girl will love. And then they had a really cute Peppa Pig one that is very springy. These would be fun to do with your kids just as a rainy day activity, make some cupcakes or whatever, and let them go wild with the decorations. Now, this is the viral pink sauce as seen on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know y'all this looks nasty to me like i'm not even gonna lie i don't even know what it tastes like but the color looks disgusting i am not going to try it if you have tried it please let us all know in the comments what does it taste like is it good because it's just weirding me out the color i don't know not, I'm not here for it, you guys. <laughs> um, another thing I found is that they did have one flavor of the Alani energy drinks, which I know are super popular. I don't drink energy drinks, so I've never tried these, but I know that they're very, very popular. I think this one was like a kiwi guava um, flavor, but that was the only one that they had there. And then another thing that I thought was really cool were these Black Rifle Coffee Company drinks. Now, my husband loves the Black Rifle Co Coffee Company. It is veteran founded and he loves to support that. They sell these at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, but I've never seen the drinks like this. They were, this one was a berry mocha espresso. The other one was just plain mocha. We usually buy like the K-Cups, but I thought that these were really cool and love that the Dollar Tree had those. Um, these were some TGI Fridays, crinkle fries, chili cheese flavored like chip snacks. I don't know, Dollar Tree always has very interesting, unique, quirky snacks. So if you like to try new things, definitely look at their snack options. These also looked really good. The bagel chips, they were a garlic flavor and I bet that they would be so good dipped in cream cheese. I almost got some, I should have. Next time if I go back and I still have them, I'm definitely gonna grab a bag because that just sounds really good to me. And then they did have a little section of Easter things more than the other store did the other day. These are really cute little trees with like the Easter eggs on them. I thought that was cute. These are like a yarn, hardened yarn decor that you could put in a vase or whatever. They had the little fuzzy bunnies that are super cute. And they had another option of tree. This is very girly. It has like um, sparkly tinsel wrapped around it. And then another thing that they had, which is really fun, are the little LED string lights. So they had carrots, they had one that had bunnies, different color bunnies, then they had one that had little ducks. And there was a button that you could push to try them out, which I also think is a great marketing idea, Dollar Tree, so that everybody can see. But these would be cute to decorate with. Okay guys, I am home now and I'm going to show you my haul, the things that I got today. Um, but hopefully you enjoy the little walkthrough. Um, if you have not watched my Dollar Tree video from last week, you should go ahead and watch that because I showed 
like all of the Valentine's Day stuff in that video and I didn't re-show it in this video since it was pretty much all the same stuff. But this Dollar Tree did have some things that the other Dollar Tree um, that I went to last week um, did not have. Like I said, there are several Dollar Trees in my area. So I'm trying to go to like all the different ones to see if they have different things. So I have my receipt here. I spent um, $17.75, including tax. So I have my little bag and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got is this planter. I think this is so pretty. I love the pattern on it and it's plastic, but it, it seems pretty sturdy and I really like the size and I think I'm going to try um, to put my, my Christmas poinsettia in this. I'm going because it just came in like a foil, like a temporary thing and I'm trying to keep this thing alive. I mentioned that in my grocery haul that I filmed the other day that I have this beautiful Christmas poinsettia. Um, our church decorates with them at Christmas time and you could do one in memory of somebody. So mine was in memory of my mom and I'm trying to keep this thing alive. And so I want to replant it. So I'm going to put it in this and they had a lot of spring stuff out. So if you need some planters, they had a bunch of different sizes and colors and patterns and they're really pretty. So we got that. The next thing I got, I did go ahead and get another one of the Olika hand sanitizers. I am loving, I got three last week and I am loving them so much. And I wanted to try out this frosted eucalyptus scent. And I also love the um, teal color. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I wanna probably keep getting them until they disappear because you know stuff like that always disappears. Um, I got this um, Paper Mate Flare pen. This is a felt tip pen and it is this really pretty purple um, color and this is actually going to be for a friend, a part of a gift that I'm doing, which you'll probably end up seeing in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I saw this in the Valentine's Day candy section, which I did not film because it was pretty much the same candy that I filmed um, in my Dollar Tree haul last week, but my husband really loves Mike and Ike candy and it was this adorable little heart shaped container. That's what the back looks like. You can put like to and from on it. Um, these are the different flavors of Mike and Ike's, but I saw that and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I'm gonna get it and save it for his um, Valentine's Day bag that I'm doing for him. So that is for him. This is another thing for him. I showed you guys these. These are the Black Rifle Coffee Company um, Espresso Mocha Drinks. My husband loves this brand of coffee. Um, he really likes to support veterans. This is a veteran founded company and he usually buys like the K-Cups. You can buy them at Bass Pro Shops or online. Um, but I've never seen like a drink like this already in a can um, from Black Rifle Co Coffee Company. So I saw this and I had to get it. And there was another flavor, but it was like berry. He might've liked that, but I'm like, let's just go with the one that just tastes like coffee this time. So anyways, this has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it and it's 11 fluid ounces. Um, but I think that he's gonna like that. And I might end up putting this in his Valentine's Day bag as well. Um, and then of course, y'all, I had to get the caboodles. So I got two of them for my girls. So my um, oldest daughter, her favorite color is this like light blue aqua color. So of course I had to get that. And then I got the pink one for my younger daughter, but these are so awesome, you guys. These are really cool and really big. They just open like this. They don't have any drawers or anything inside of them, but that's okay. My girls have so many like little tiny toys, like the mini brands or the little Shopkins, like they have all sorts of stuff like that. And I'm always looking for containers for them to put their stuff in so it stays like organized. Um, so I had to get these because they're just too cute and they're sparkly. I love them. This one almost matches my nails. <laughs> but these just bring back such um, 90s vibes with caboodles. Let me know in the comments if you had one when you were a kid. But if you want a good cheap dupe for your daughter, definitely go grab one of these at Dollar Tree. They also had purple. I don't know how long they'll be around because I know that they're flying off the shelves. So I wanted to go ahead and get those while I saw them. Um, and then I got, we're going to the movies today. This is kind of random. 
We're going to the movies today and my husband wanted me to grab him um, some Mike and Ikes to actually bring. And of course, y'all know Dollar Tree has their movie sized like boxes of candy. Such a good deal. Anytime we are going to go to the movies, we always stock up and bring that with us. Um, the next thing I got, I got these for my girls too because I just thought that these were so stinking cute. These are little lip glosses. This one is a donut. So adorable. And then this one is like, it says it's passion fruit punch flavored. So I guess it's supposed to be like a little, um, I don't know if it's supposed to look like a little punch in a cup. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I'm going to probably end up putting these in their Valentine's Day goodie bags as well. But those are just so fun and they love stuff like this. Um, and then speaking of Valentine's, um, I was pleasantly surprised that this Dollar Tree location did have their Valentine's Day cards out because when I went last week, there were no Valentine's Day cards. So I always like to get any of my cards for like any occasion at Dollar Tree because you can't beat the price. All of these cards were 50 cents and I refuse to pay. Like if you go to Target, some of their cards are like $7. That's craziness. So anyways, I got my son a card. I got my oldest daughter a card. I got my husband a card and I got my youngest daughter a card. So like I said, all of those 50 cents and those will go along with the goodie bags that I'm doing for them. And then just two more things. I got this for myself. Um, this is a dupe of the Olay eye roller that I have seen in Target and Walmart before and is very expensive. So this one, it's Age Defy Dark Circles and Puffiness Serum. Instant three-in-one treatment for dark circles, which I have, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. Um, and it comes in a roller, so you can just roll it on there. Let's just go ahead and open it up and look at it. But yeah, this almost looks exactly like the Olay one. And we'll open up the tip and see. It's just a roller ball. But hey, for a dollar twenty-five, we're gonna try this out on the under eye circles and see how well it works. And I'll keep y'all posted. And then the last thing that I got, I did end up grabbing these JoJo Siwa um, girl socks. Um, not for my daughter because she has so many socks already. But I just thought that this was a really good deal for five pairs of socks in super cute colors. Our church does um, Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes every year, and I'm kind of the leader of it, and I shop all year long. Well, y'all know I shop all year long for my family, but I also do for our shoe boxes. So anytime I find good deals like this, I will just grab and stash away. So I just went ahead and grabbed one of these because I thought that is such a five socks for $1.25, such a good deal, and I'll put this in a shoe box for a little girl and hopefully... She'll be really excited to get that. So that is my entire Dollar Tree haul today. Um, I'm really excited about these purchases. I think we got some good deals, some good stuff. And as always, Dollar Tree is just so fun because you go in there and you know that everything is $1.25. So like 17 bucks I spent on these things. I don't know. It's just fun. It's fun to go into a store and know that like... <laughs> everything is not going to be so expensive and you're not going to spend a hundred dollars walking out of there which I guess you could but you're much more likely to do that at like Target or Walmart than Dollar Tree so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also if you're new I'd love to have you subscribe I do a lot of hauls here on my channel and like I said if you haven't checked out that Dollar Tree haul from last week go ahead and go check that out so you can see all of the Valentine's Day stuff and some other things that this Dollar Tree today did not have. But I love you guys. I'm thankful for you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.